and finally he's able to put his legs on the gas and put pressure on his opponent and grind him down. This is talking boxing. Hello STV Boxing fans, it is fight week. Joshua Boachi takes on Dan Aziz in the final eliminator to decide who gets a shot to fight for the WBA Super World Light Heavyweight, currently held by number one light heavyweight champion D Dimitrio Bivol. This fight is scheduled to take place at the Oval Arena in Wembley in the United Kingdom this Saturday. The main event will begin at approximately 6 p.m. Eastern in the United States and 11 p.m in uk time it will be shown live on sky sports in the uk and peacock in the united states event is promoted by boxer in this short video i'll discuss the strengths and weaknesses of both fighters my thoughts on this fight the strategies i expect both fighters should be going with and of course my prediction this is talking box before i go on please Please don't forget to leave your prediction below in the comment section. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to us if this is your first time seeing us on YouTube. And then follow if this is your first time on Facebook. Let's talk briefly about Joshua Boachi. Boachi is coming in as an Olympian medalist, having won bronze at the 2016 Summer Olympics. He is coming in with a record of 17 wins, no losses, 13 wins by way of knockout. He last fought Pavel Stiplen in May of um, last year, winning by unanimous decision. What are his strengths coming in? He's got a lot of power, solid technical skills. I mean, he's pretty much takes all the um, boxes when it comes to the boxing fundamentals. He's athletic with good speed and agility. He's aggressive. He knows how to keep pressure on his opponents. He's also got some pretty good body punching ability which he uses to wear his opponents down. Finally, he's got the reach and height advantage coming into this fight which should help him keep Aziz at bay and avoid taking too much punishment. What are his weaknesses? I think there is some room for improvement in his defenses. His aggressive style sometimes leaves him open to contest and that uh, against a power puncher like someone like Aziz, you don't want to get caught off guard. Let's talk briefly about Dan Aziz. He's coming off a win in July of last year where he defeated French fighter Khalid uh, Grader by points after eight rounds. He's coming in with an undefeated record of 20 wins with 13 wins by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number two best light heavyweight in the UK and number five worldwide by box rec. What are his strengths coming in? He's got power as well. He has the skills to deliver that power to cause damage to his opponents. He's got a variety in his shots which can um, help him quite in terms of navigating difficult boxes. He's also able to adapt to his opponents and change his game plan in real time he's able to move his head pretty well and finally he's able to put his legs on the gas and put pressure on his opponent and grind him down what are his weaknesses he sometimes doesn't appear too angry um, and this can be a disadvantage with someone like Boache. Now my thoughts on this fight. This fight with Dan Aziz was initially scheduled for last year but had to be postponed after Aziz suffered a back injury in camp in his final training session. But it is here undefeated records and the shot that before the WBA Super World light heavyweight title on the line. After this clash, uh, hopefully we we'll see who who gets the chance. I expect Boachi to come in aggressively and try to impose his will on Aziz. He's a brawler and I think he's not going to respect Aziz's power enough to want to stay away. He also has the reach and height advantage in this fight but honestly I don't expect Aziz to struggle much at least not because of the height difference. I mean he fought well against um, Shaken um, Peters who is 6'6 six, six, and, and dominated him to secure a win so he probably will be able to adjust to Boachi's um, reach and Hi, Aziz is not the type of guy that is going to sit still and then allow you to just run him down. He's equally aggressive. He's going to be in your face and come at you with different shots from different angles. He has the power, but once again, I don't think Boachi is going to respect that power. So he has to force Boachi to fight his fight and outclass him and then wear him down. I'm not really expecting a knockout 
but um, these two can bang so I wouldn't really be surprised to see a late round one now to my prediction I think this is going to be a very tough fight for both fighters however I think Boache is the better man in this fight hear me out like I said before I'm not expecting a knockout I think this fight goes the full distance I'm predicting a decision win for Joshua Boache I see him outboxing Aziz for the win it's going to be a close fight but Boache carries the the night you can share your predictions in the comment section and then let me know the fight you want me to cover in in, in future pre-fight analysis like always i'm the boxing doc and this is talking boxing.